And tonight, we're getting new details about just how many cases in our state are being delayed because of a backlog in mental health evaluations at the state hospital. News 5's Natalie Chuck in studio tonight with uh, how severe this problem is. Natalie, what you find out? Yeah, Rob, this mental health evaluation for Letitia Stauk was requested back in early December. So it's been nearly eight months since this case could go anywhere. And the man accused of murdering 10 people at a King Supers in Boulder in March last year is still being evaluated in Pueblo and his trial also delayed. One attorney I spoke with told me we should expect this issue to continue for a while. Another roadblock in the case against Letitia Stelk, the El Paso County woman accused of murdering her 11-year-old stepson, Gannon Stelk, in 2020. Over two years since he died, and over one since the trial was originally set to take place, Gannon's family is still left waiting for answers. While the courts wait for another mental health evaluation on Stalk from the Colorado State Hospital. It's going to be harder for the state to, to prosecute the case and, and take the case to trial because Memories fade over time. Law enforcement officers change jobs. People move across the country. Pueblo trial lawyer Sean Conti breaks down why cases cannot move forward without having a mental health evaluation completed if one is requested. Every accused has the constitutional right to participate in their defense. And if there's a, a, a thought that they might be incompetent, they're going to be unable to participate in their uh, defense. They're going to be unable to have those meaningful, meaningful conversations. As we previously reported, the hospital said in December it had downsized 95 beds due to staffing shortages. And Conti believes the backlog will not be cleared out anytime soon. Be prepared to continue to expect delay after delay after delay. And the hospital just got back to me within the last hour. They told me outpatient evaluations aren't the problem. The ones actually in the hospital are. They said in part the delays are due to bed shortages for inpatient competency restoration and forensic evaluations that need to be completed in an inpatient setting. They also say as of today, 36 people are waiting on mental evaluations. And today, the judge in Stouk's case said if he does not have a mental health evaluation in his hand from the state hospital four weeks from now, he will be asking the doctor in charge for answers as to why not. We will let you know as soon as we know when the next hearing is scheduled.